Polymer Clay TV. I'm Elisa and I want to show you a really cool pendant today and we're just going to go through the steps. I have everything pre-made and I'll show you what I did but you can make some really cool pendants and uh, you know change it up any different way you want. Change the shape, change the design. It's totally up to you but I was playing around and I was having so much fun I thought I'd show you this. So these are our texture stacks and this one's one of the mandalas and there's six different designs in there and I've gone ahead and stamped one here you can see now this is another one that's stamped in, in this pendant here so they're very easy to use and it's just a matter of like pushing down on it like any other stamp so let's just give one a shot here you just push gently just want to make sure you get a nice impression and peel back and you got a really nice impression and like I said, there's six different ones on in the design. Um, and you can just come back and cut it out with a cookie cutter. You can freehand it. I can't really see over it, so I'm just, it's going to be a little off. <laughs> so I'm just using these metal cookie cutters, but you can use any cutters you have. And uh, I liked it in the circle shape. And I also have these other ones that are all different sizes. So I like to have a lot of different sizes for my circles. I use circles a lot. But I started with these Mandela Builder silk screens. And you can probably see here, this is the one I used on this pendant. Then I also stamped this um, piece of the stamp. I guess this, this uh, stack. And stamped right into the clay. And... Then you can use it however you want. Now I used golden paint to highlight the design, which is simple, but I used um, I used the Waverly paint to silk screen, and that's all this is. There's different pieces of the silk screen that I combined together. That one's this design here. Obviously this one is the first one I showed you. That's the stamp. So by layering these, you can build up a really cool piece. Now this one here is, let's see, is this silk screen. This one is called the Rays, and that's that piece right there with that next, and then I cut out pieces of, which one was it, let's see. This was a like a, a little flower that I just kind of pieced, was it this one? Here it is, that's what, it was this one. So the flower, and then I, you know, I added this one on top. Actually, it was this one. So this, so I went this, this, and this, these three, and that's what this looks like. And so you're wondering how do you use a pendant like that or whatever. Um, Jan Montarzi came up with a way to make a backing that I just love. So shout out to Jan Montarzi. And you can do the same kind of technique where you dome it. And this is what I use to dome. I use, I, this is by Sculpey. This is a Sculpey product. And this is called the Hollow Bead Maker, which I use all the time. As you can see, it's not very clean. And then we have these bowls in our shop. These are the taller bowls, but you can also use the shorter bowls, whichever you like. And they all give you a different, you know, uh, I guess, arch or whatever you want to call it. So you would just pick what's right for your project. So I picked this and I baked both of these pieces. And then I can come back in with some bacon bond or I can wrap a little... Uh, you know snake around there whatever way I want to do it and so this becomes the way I can hang it and I can just stick the the chain or ribbon or whatever through it and it just hangs beautifully this way so shout out to Jan for coming up with that idea and I really love that but it's you know these pendants are so easy and that's why I love it you know I, I'm always making different gifts and giving my sister stuff and and you know and, and doing stuff to play around with all the things we make that, you know, I come up with all these ideas and I want to, you know, just play and play and play. So, <laughs> anyways, I've gone ahead and silk screened these few different designs and I thought we'd play a little and show you, you know, where you can go with this and how different you can make it look. So, I just used a little of this golden paint. Now, I don't like this paint to silk screen with. It's very, very, very watery, but it makes a beautiful highlight. And I just put a little on my work surface. I want to have very, very little in my finger because it, it's very, it's a very potent color. 
but look at how gorgeous that looks. It just gives just a, a nice, beautiful look to your piece. And of course, you can always do your sides too if you want to, you know, get that that look on the side as well. You know, you can use acrylic paint to really enhance your designs nicely. And any texture, the acrylic paint will pick up that texture beautifully. So just like you would use a pan pastel or pigments, you can do the same thing with acrylic paint, which is nice because it dries and you can bake it in the oven. So. How, look how pretty that is with, you know, very, very little work. <laughs> so, which is, you know, I'm an instant gratification kind of girl. So, but you can start building and building with this. That's why we call it the Mandela Builder. But I did here one in a different shape, which I liked. And I could take, let's see, let's play around here. I could take this, this, lay this on top. Let's see, try to get it as even as we, as we can. And this was just a freehand shape. And then I could come back and add something like that. And I could go like this. And look at how, how cool it is with just very, very, very little effort. You know, so here's a couple others. And we'll change this around. This, since this isn't baked yet, you can change it a hundred times and see what you like. Let's see. Let's put it on this. And now, at, look at how different that is. That's really cool. And so that's what I like to do. Just play and play and play. But I really like how the stamps add another dimension. I mean, I've, t I've taken the Mandela Builders and I've made pendants. You've probably seen me make ones like this. But adding that little bit of texture also can really, really highlight the piece. So let's just do this one real fast with a little gold. And these texture stacks make a really nice impression. If you haven't checked them out, definitely check them out. TJ um, has a couple different ones in her line that are really nice. She's got hearts and and dragonflies and butterflies really pretty stuff so just simple like that highlighting it and then you could stick it in the middle and you see it just changes it up I would cut this out a little more I don't have my my um, blade with me well actually I have one let's see that's a little too small that's not gonna work but you, you get the gist you can just play around and and really the sky's the limit with this I just I just love, you know, playing with it and, and coming up with new ideas. So that, this was just a simple little inspirational video that I wanted to share with you because I had so much fun with it. But let me show you one other thing I'm working on so you can stay tuned because I think these will be a fun addition here. Like these, I'm, I'm not going to show you how I made these today, but they are coming and, I, and I've got a, a lot of other cool ideas to go with it. However, these are also the texture stack stamped and you can totally get different looks by doing this technique as well which like I said it's in an upcoming show I'll show you but for now I just wanted to show you you know how you can bring in other dimensions too so don't be afraid to play and really that's what this is about you know I'm a big big believer in playing with the clay and and just having fun with it and seeing where it goes and, and I guess that's why I love these, these Mandela Builder silk screens so much because there are a lot of possibilities and you don't have to use these. You can literally take anything and, and use cookie cutters and just start layer, layering it until you get some really fun designs. So I actually think I'm going to give this pendant away when it's done. So come on over to the blog at polymerclaytv.com and leave a comment share any ideas or inspiration or anything you have about this technique or any ideas I would love to hear them and I will pick a winner and you will win this pendant and I'm gonna finish it off and you'll see you'll get to see how how it's actually made in person so I hope you enjoyed this little tidbit of inspiration and I hope you'll play around and have some fun I'll see you next time thanks so much for joining me